It's so little. There are some days I just really want to turn this whole YouTube channel into just like toys and Legos, but let's let's try to keep this one on point. I was never able to solve a cube until I got my hands on the original Go Cube. You know, that video probably just popped out at the top of your screen. You can watch my original review. It's not just a decent little speed cube, but a whole platform of games and puzzles built into an app and a cube that has sensors to track the orientation and the moves that you make. That was my main stumbling block, you know, visualizing specific actions based based on the orientation of the cube. I just needed that little nudge to figure out how to make this work. The folks at GoCube are back right before the holidays with a two by two version of the speed cube. And it ticks all the same boxes as the big brother cube. It's about putting a tech twist on a classic puzzle. Now, the construction is solid with smooth action and magnetic alignment. It's just a little stiffer than the 3x3 cube, and sometimes a center twist can feel like it's catching as you're trying to adjust things quickly. Bluetooth radios, lights internally, but the main difference comes down to how this cube is charged. The 2x2 cube now uses a USB-C plug on one of the yellow squares instead of the proprietary pin charger on the 3x3 cube. And it's a lot more convenient these days to find a USB-C cable but it does make one of the yellow squares look just a little more different. Ah, it's a minor aesthetic gripe, which delivers better functionality. So I guess I can't complain too much. The hook for GoCube is pairing up a speed cube with an app on your phone. Now, the only minorly confusing bit, and, and it was mostly because I, I didn't read the setup guide, I had the original app installed, and for some reason I thought that the 2x2 two two would just link up with that original app too. It doesn't, there's a specific app for the 2x2, two two, so I really don't know why I thought that would work. Once you've not made the same mistake as me and you've connected, there's an academy just to get you started through the basic algorithms and patterns to finish a 2x2 two two cube. Yeah, taking my time through that first run took about 10 minutes to jostle up and then finish off my first two by two puzzle. From there, you can practice basic solving, work on your speed, and there are a pair of games to play. Now, one's just a music notation practice game. You know, it helps you mess up your cube while you also play simple songs like Ode to Joy. The other game is Simon, where you have to remember a series of moves and get back to the original solved cube. And of course, there's a timer, a solver, and the app will save your stats for how many times you solved the cube and how quickly you've gotten it done. Where there, you can add your times to a leaderboard. I'm not brave enough to do that yet. I keep wanting to say Gokus. Now, Go cubes aren't cheap compared to traditional speed cubes, but the idea here is to add a fun tech twist on an old game and bring some new ways to play. I'm enough of a tech nerd, I probably would never have given a 2x2 two a try on my own after figuring out how to solve a three by three. But you go and add the Bluetooths and that makes it more nerdily appealing to me. I'll probably not dive down the rabbit hole of increasingly complex cubes or pyramids, but the Go cubes now occupy that tactile keeping my hands busy distraction that I sometimes need while working. That's what I used to use all of my transformers for, just to keep my fingers engaged so I could focus on something else. I had to take just a little time out of my normal production schedule, just have a little bit of fun as we start wrapping up the year, wrapping up our holiday shopping. Maybe you need some last minute sort of gift ideas. So I'll of course leave some links down below for more information on the Go Cubes and where you can shop these puppies online. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel, supporting the channel, greatly appreciated. Links in the description for all the ways that you can do that, including joining my Patreon, patreon.com slash guy. This list is basically a collection of the coolest tech pals on the internet today. So I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.